hey guys welcome to the next tutorial for ethical hacking and penetration testing so in this tutorial we will start with configuring our Kali Linux and Windows 7 so Windows 7 is almost started and this is our Kali Linux I'll just this is the recovery mode if due to some reason you have done some mistake and your Kali Linux is not working then you can go and choose the recovery mode but I will be choosing this right now and I'll just go ahead and maximize it to show you how it looks like Starting it the first time can be a bit slow but uh, because you need to uh, configure each and everything you need to configure the repositories and after that there are load, loads and loads of things uh, you can go ahead and search on the web and check that what are the things required to go ahead and start what are the things required the first 20 things that you need to do after installing Cal Linux and you, you will get uh, specific things so you can go ahead and configure these things as per your request so this is the first uh, first time you start you will get something like this and the username the username will always be root until unless you have assigned any user so root means you are the owner of uh, this operating system and then password would be a password which you have set and uh, once you have started it will look something like this and trust me guys this is way too different from windows 7 so or even macintosh so if you think that just because you know windows 7 or uh, macintosh you may know what this is then you're wrong guys so i'll just go ahead and configure this first i'll make the screen a bit bigger and by the time it starts let me check if my windows 7 okay it is almost completing installation perfect and let me check the display okay i think i can go ahead and use this one this would be perfect okay great perfect keep this configuration okay so uh, the first thing that i need to do after installing this would be the installation of vmware so you can go ahead on the left hand side click on right click on cal linux and select install vmware tools if you don't install vmware tools then you won't be able to go ahead and copy anything from from the your guest operating system to your computer so once you have that you can just you need to go ahead and copy everything and just in case you need a detailed information you can go ahead check over here at the web and you will get it so I'll just go ahead and select uh, install VMware player sorry not VMware player install uh, let's say VMware tools on Kali Linux just in case you need a detailed version go ahead and select and by the time it starts let's see if our windows 7 is starting yes it is and it's getting started okay so as you can see that you need to type if uh, once you have over here you can go ahead and just go into the specific thing and you need to install that so I'll just go to my directory I'll just go ahead and open it let me check what we have inside the CD ROM okay okay why is it that i can't see anything let me check okay so p our uh, windows 7 has started so i'll just type test user it would be the name and i'll uh, let's say i'll put uh, the same password and perfect no perfect whatever it is home network no let me check we have i'll just go down and try to remount it let's see if i get something over here okay kali live no i'll just eject let me check if i still have it over here okay yeah this is the reason so i'll just go ahead and i have to remove that so by the time I'll just go ahead and install the VMware tools okay perfect we have it over here so I'll just go ahead and you need to copy it and paste it in the home directory and your home directory will be over here I'll just go ahead and open the sidebar so we have the home over here I'll just go ahead and paste it over here 
So once you have it, I'll just check by the time. Skip. Uh, okay. Okay. Perfect. Okay. So yeah, that's what will that will happen. Okay. So we will start with configuring this, and once you have copied it, just go ahead, open on your terminal and uh, I assume that you have uh, no knowledge of I will be assuming that you don't have any knowledge of uh, use, uh, using Linux uh, prior to this tutorial so I'll just go ahead and let you guys know the basic commands that you would be needing would be CD that we would be the, to change directory uh, the next thing would be LS that would be to view everything or in which directory you are uh, if you were to go ahead and type control Z that means to break you out of uh, that specific loop and can perfect okay and if you have let's say cp the two that means to copy any specific thing so i'll go ahead and check where i am like right now so ls that means i am on desktop i am inside home and if you get tpwd that means it will show you where you are root means you are at uh, your home so i'll just go ahead and type chmod plus x and vm where vm where perfect and yeah, i think my windows 7 has started okay perfect so before i let me just go ahead and change its resolution okay Let's be the same okay perfect i'll just set this down and just before i go ahead and close this make sure that you go ahead and turn off the windows defender because we don't want that open if you actually keep it open then it would be something that we would need to go ahead and close it down okay it's already disabled by default fine no problem okay never mind it's already closed so i'll just go ahead and shut this down since uh, as of now we won't be needing that we need to go ahead and configure our kali linux okay so back to kali uh, i'll just go ahead and what i did over here chmod that means take control of uh, this take root permissions for to go ahead and modify or access this VMware tools and I'll type tar hyphen xf space VMware tools that means it will go ahead and extract the tar file that is a specific uh, code that we need to use and by the time it goes and installs let's close our v Windows 7 perfect and as you can go ahead and see it has already went ahead and extracted this specific zip file and tar period gz means a zip file so if you go ahead and see this is your original version and this is uh, actually installed so actually extracted and now we need to go ahead and install that so i need to go ahead and through that specific directory cd and vmware okay let me check uh, okay we have vmware and uh, tools distribution and now i need to go ahead and extract that so let me check by ls we have these files so the this specific file that we have over here ending with pl that is a perl file and it is similar to the one that we have in windows such as period exe file that means it's similar to that so that means it's an executable file and since i have the root permissions i will be able to execute that so i'll just type period forward slash vmware that means it will go and uh, install that and i'll hit enter and it will ask me just go and hit enter everything and uh, it will go ahead and install uh, each and everything over here so yes yes no yes whatever it asks you just go ahead and keep hitting enter doesn't matter what it's asking because it will straight away go to install all the necessary things and to change it no okay set up the running please ensure that the files running I'm not compiling modules for some reason. The distribution, okay. No. It will take a bit of time for it to go ahead and get installed. And uh, perfect. So it's been installed right now. And I'll just go ahead and type exit. And I won't be needing these VMware tools. So I'll go ahead and delete both of them. And uh, Yes, and I need to go ahead and get the latest updates, but before I do, and since I have installed VMware, I need to reboot, so I'll just go ahead and type R-E-B-O-O-T, and it will go ahead and reboot itself, so, 
yeah that's how it uh, this looks like so that is it for the configuration of vm Halo linux and in the next tutorial i'll be going out in detail and explaining it to you as to what else we need to do after the installation of vmware tools and how we can go we need to go ahead and configure the scripts to go ahead and start using Kali Linux.